Okay, guys. Acomodo Crypto here. Happy New Year. 2019 is here, and uh, here we are with our Bitcoin and our Bitcoin update. It's been a while, huh? Yeah. Uh, update was due, and here, here I am. So, um, <clears throat> uh, before I I dive into this, this is 30 minutes bit stamp. Let me take a look here at the, this is Ethereum cracking. Uh, this is the daily chart. As, as it's, that's not surprising at all. Bitcoin is uh, going sideways, I would say. Sideways to put in this B wave here. And then we would expect this C wave to complete this fourth wave. This is my count, okay? If, if you have been following me here, um, you 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 are you might you might have noticed that I have a, a bearish bias that this is not the end of the correction, okay? This is the third wave, and then it would correct. This is the fourth wave, okay? And then we are gonna have another leg down. Okay, it's totally fine if we have uh, if this is if this is the end. Okay, if, if this is the if, if this is the bottom, we are gonna see soon enough. Remember, I mentioned that this red line here, if we break above it, then we have something else. Perhaps we don't have even the, the end of the correction, but we have something else. We don't have this fourth wave. Okay. But the case that I'm making here is that we are correcting to this fourth wave and according to the alternation rule in the Elliott wave principle, look at this two, the second wave. <clears throat> Pardon me. The second wave here is really shallow, uh, almost nothing. We had such a, a point and dump. And then we have now this fourth wave that's going sideways, it's flat and it's, uh, it's taking time. Okay, when we have such a correction, this is what we ex this is what we expect. We expect a, a a sideways correction, and the market is is trying to um, to establish itself, and then we are gonna see another movement, another significant movement, which I think is gonna be a, another uh, movement to the upside, and then we are gonna see a dump. Okay. Uh, so far, we have we traced. If we are to if we get this is the the second wave and this is the third, so we have we traced. Um, we have we traced 38, 20 percent, which is, by the way, enough for the fourth wave. But the shape, the symmetry of the movement here is not yet complete. Okay, so I think that we are gonna see a, a deeper wave four perhaps touching the 618, 65% here, and then we are gonna see another leg down to finish this fifth wave, okay? This is what I'm proposing. This might not be the case, okay? Today is the 4th, 4th January. <laughs> Let's see if we're uh, gonna start the, are we gonna have a bullish year? <laughs> yeah, it's too soon, just, it's too soon to tell. We need to react to the market instead of uh, wishful thinking, right? Oh, I'm expecting a bull market this year. I can't say that. I, I, I expect neither. Actually, I expect a, a bear market because this is what we have. So this is the weekly chart, okay? Yesterday, uh, yesterday no, but last week we finished with a speeding top, okay? This is a spinning top, of course. Uh, let me just take a look here. It's almost, it's it's a really beautiful spinning top, isn't it? Because it's a, uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's more to the bearish side, isn't it? Because see the rejection here when we touched the the area of the 200 EMA. Remember, I, I mentioned that this area here, the 200 EMA here. Uh, would be a, 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 a strong resistance and it's and it has been a strong resistance here okay we touch it and we react we have a spinning top and we are going down okay 
this is one of the reasons one of the reasons that I uh, that make me that force me to think that this is not uh, any kind of a, uh, of, a uh, of a trend reversal even though of course we 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 touched the standard moving average here the 200 standing moving average and we have we had this reaction but so far it's way too soon to to call it anything else but a correction okay a correction of this wave here going down this is a correction this is the fourth wave in in Elliott wave in Elliott, from the Elliott wave perspective this is this is the fourth wave but any the, the, doesn't matter the, the the approach you have for chart analysis this is the correction of this wave here okay this this movement here okay and this is the weekly chart so we are again we have another bearish cross here this is another sign of a of a, a bearish of a bearish momentum okay and the obv is touching a really low 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 really low uh a really low level but we see we, we haven't picked it up from this really low level and the rsi is trying to to go up or to, to it has touched the 30 here but it's going up but not by by much remember above 50 we would consider a bullish momentum a, a bullish market we are way below 50 okay and we are tickling here um downwards here on the macd so uh weekly chart is showing us how that we need to i think that all that we need to conclude that the bearish market is here to stay at least for a while okay so this is my my daily chart nothing has pretty much changed but uh, let's take a look at the micro counting here not not really quite micro counting this is the third 30 minutes the third wave is here okay the third wave the same third wave that we have here here is in purple okay and here's the a now we we have finished this a okay a really nice motive impulse wave Okay, finishing with a diagonal, a leading, not a leading diagonal, I'm sorry, a ending diagonal. And then now we have an A, B, B is finishing with a triangle, the way I see it, A, B, C, D, E, and then we're going to have another leg down. Here's the 100% extension, so this is the extension uh, extending A through B here, B would be here, okay, B has retraced 50% of A. If you see um, A is here, this yellow A here, if we get our retracement tool here from the top of this A, this yellow A, we have retraced enough for a B wave, see, here, above the 50%, above. So this is the B, and here we have the, 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 the top of the B wave here, which is not finished. It's yet to be finished. It's a triangle formation, a contraction formation, Elliott wave triangle A B C D E. We might break down to the downside here, uh, breaking this from uh, in this D wave here. It's not. Uh, we don't need to exactly go to E and then go down. We might break uh, here on the D, and then this is the target that I see, 100% at least perhaps we it's not impossible to see a double bottom here guys okay it's not because this is a b wave and it we, we might see a b wave going to the to this green line here which would be 3100 3, okay we it's not impossible okay it's the sweet spot for c waves but i, I think that we might see a truncation if we see the 618 here the truncation if we see if we if it's a shallow wave c where we were gonna end here at the 3500 okay but i'm sticking to this target here 3300 okay and then we are gonna see 
another wave, a uh, one, two, three, four, five, of course, um, to go up here to 4,400, okay? This is the 50% retracement for our wave four, okay? This 50% here, guys, okay? This 50% here, at least 50% is here, okay? 50% then we have the fourth wave the c wave finishing the correction okay i don't know this is one uh, i'm proposing this uh, we have an algo target here from this whole movement okay from this whole movement here a b uh, one two three four five this whole motive is impulse wave this the the retracement is giving us this minus 33 60 percent here Okay, we have this huge resistance here at the 4700. We have this minus 33, 60% as our goal target. We have the 50% here that we are gonna see a lot of sellers here. That's def that's true. <laughs> You're gonna we are gonna see that. Um, and that's th th that's what I see. Okay, uh, we might just bridge through it. Okay. We might bridge through it. It's. I'm not saying that it's. Uh, it's. Um, it's a uh, uh, 100. Per, it's not a certainty, guys. It's a probability that we are gonna touch the 50 percent and then we are gonna correct. That's what I'm saying with the fourth wave here. That we're gonna see a lot of marked pressure, okay, to go down another uh, once more, to finish this fifth wave. But we might just break through it and break this line here that is 6200. Remember, this was the, the this red box here, which I marked here, which is, by the way, uh, the, the area between 5800 and 6100, right? This area, remember, guys, we have, we, we stayed in this area for a long time during August, uh, from August to november we were like ho hovering around this area and then we break to the downside okay this area is gonna be a huge resistance that's why i'm talking about if we go above it then of course it's another story okay but for the moment this is what we have I, we have a bearish uh, it's a bearish market okay and we are correcting we are in the a, we are now putting in B, and then you're going to have the C, okay? Um, a really clear triangle here, really clear, clear Elliott wave triangle, okay? This is, would be B. Let me just show the, the, the waves, okay? This would be the wave, and this would be the the wave for the whole correction, see? From the, ter from the third wave, A, B, C, fourth wave and then of course we're gonna go down okay this is the waves within waves this is the beauty of edit waves okay um let's talk about ethereum just for a moment okay because ethereum has uh, has shown a different story I, I, i'm gonna propose here a, a bullish count okay because this would be um a first wave okay like this then we would have this as a second wave then we would have a third wave going up like here fourth and fifth wave i'm gonna change the the degree of course so mine it <clears throat> i'm sure about it no if you ask me are you really sure about it that ethereum is gonna have a, a bullish momentum I'm honestly, what I'm seeing here is a, it's bullish signs because we Ethereum has uh, has had a really nice angular moment. You have this this angle here for a one, this motive impulse wave. Then we have this retracement here for our ABC here, with really clear ABC. Then we have the second wave. Then we have this pitchfork. Okay. If we, of course, we trace and break. Now, now, now here's the thing. 
Let me remove all those things here. If we retrace and break this pitchfork here like this, of course we're gonna have something different. The pitchfork is gonna tell us if we are indeed in a in a bullish if we have a bullish momentum. I think that this channel here is must hold. That's why um, at least I think that we're gonna retrace 38, 20 percent here. Okay, that, it's not that not much more than this. Okay, <clears throat> and then we're gonna go up. It's a hard case to say that. It's a hard case for me. It's a it's a difficult. It's difficult to me to tell that we're gonna just short it because we're gonna go down. We have a, um, of course, we have this level here of resistance, which I'm gonna, which is this line here. Yes, yeah, so this level of resistance. Okay, and we have this support here. I'm gonna mark. It's here 50 percent we have see the support here a lot of this cluster here this is the support so um if we are to talk about it if this is going to really make a a, a, a rally some kind of a if it touches the median line i'm pretty much 100 percent sure because this is this is this would imply a really strong momentum but it hasn't touched the median line. But this is the original pitchfork. If we have a shift, it has touched the median line, you see? But I am using the original just for the moment because just to keep this same angle here, you see this the same angle that it has it has uh, developed here. I'm trying to, to continue with the same angle here to see if Ethereum is gonna continue the same angle the same momentum okay a lot of red dotted lines those are my targets my targets for short my targets for taking profit i'm honestly i'm gonna wait for this moment here i'm not gonna short it i'm gonna wait for this moment here and then i'm gonna enter um i'm gonna enter uh along with i, I think that we are gonna touch the 30 20 percent if we go below it it's definitely a sign of a, it's another thing happening totally. And this is gonna be a, a, a huge risk reward ratio, okay? Take a look at this. It's 11, eight. <clears throat> I think that we're gonna bounce at a 38, 20%, okay? If you go below it, it's just, if you, if you take the retrace, if you take the extension here, this is the a wave A, okay, through B. Bang, we have 127, 20% confluence here. Exactly where we have the 38, 20%. This is a nice confluence. I would enter here and I would put my stop loss way below the pitchfork, okay? Not way below, but some, somewhat below the, the pitchfork. <clears throat> and I want to enter. I'm gonna enter at the uh, at 145. Oh, this is bit Phoenix. I'm sorry. Let me see. Um, on Kraken, where is Kraken here? It's the same thing here, guys. Okay, it is Kraken. Uh, I want to enter at 100, uh, 140. Okay, I would enter, and I would have my stop loss right at. I don't think we're gonna. Stop loss at 122. No, I would put my stop loss a bit higher, like in this cluster here, a little bit like here. Okay, 133. Okay, because that's the thing we need to. Ethereum must hold this pitchfork here. Okay, then we are gonna see this this wave three, which everyone is gonna is gonna be looking at it's gonna be hoping to be in and to take profit okay it's a really it's gonna be a huge profit 68 percent okay if this is to happen if ethereum is to keep uh its bullish momentum we need to keep in within this pitchfork okay uh, i think that 
that's it guys for the moment um i hope you guys have had a, a beautiful 2019 until now and that your 2018 has been a, a moment of of learning and knowledge and all the things all the good things that we all each that we all wish to each other right and thanks for watching it's always a pleasure to have you guys here and if you haven't joined our discord group it's the moment to do so huh it's the crypto trader educational institute you have the link in the description it's totally free and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on twitter because even if even though i don't uh record every day I'm I'm always trying to keep you guys updated on Twitter, so it's nice. It would be really nice to have you guys there as well. Okay, thank you very much, and I see you guys next time. Cheers.